Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to another edition of Tuck In Tuesday. Last week, you got to hear Mr. Tidmarsh read, No Pirates Allowed, said Library Lou. And I just wanted to point out that that is actually a Reading Counts book. So please go to the Media Center or in your classroom and take a Reading Counts test on that book. Hope you enjoyed it. Tonight, I will be reading a story to you, and it is called Bats at the Beach. It is also a Reading Counts book. So after tonight, you can go and take a Reading Counts test on this book as well. If any of you turned uh, tuned in to Nighttime Novels on Thursday, where Mrs. Wells is reading Frendel, that chapter book will take a little longer, but it is also a few points on Reading Counts. So make sure you guys tune in. I think it's five points. So you guys can get a lot of reading counts points by watching Tuck In Tuesday or Nighttime Novels. So enjoy. Like I said, I'm going to be reading Bats at the Beach tonight. Sun slips down and all is still, and soon we can't tell sky from hill. Now from barn and cave and rafter, Bats pour out with shrieks of laughter. The rising moon can grow no fatter. A sky lights up with gleeful chatter. Quick, call out, tell all you can reach. The moon is just perfect for bats at the beach. Soon we've got our buckets, trowels, banjos, blankets, books, and towels. Strapped on backs and under wings. Have we forgotten anything? Launching out into the breeze, we sail above the darkened trees, flying fast to wet our feet where land and foamy ocean meet. At last we hear the deep face thump as waves on seashore crash and bump. Now the shoreline spreads below, we pull wings in and down we go. How delicious, oh how sweet, to feel warm sand beneath our feet. Quick, set up, spread blankets on sand. We want to get going when fun is at hand. We hurry down to test the ocean. Don't forget the moon tan lotion. What's the first thing we should do? So many games before night's through. Like playing with the stuff we find that others have left behind. Bearing friends from chin to knee, we're scratchy where no sand should be. Making friends from other places with different foods and different faces. Or sailing to terrific heights, taking turns at being kites. Little bats dig their sand caves deep, old bats lie in the moon asleep. There's really no more thrilling ride than surfing on a summer tide or sailing in the wingboat races with salty sea spray in our faces. Now it's much time, what's to eat? Baskets grown with yummy treats, beetles, ants, and milkweed bugs, crickets, moths, and pickled slugs, damsel flies, or salty skeeters. No room here for picky eaters. Bug mallows toast on slender sticks while cousins do their ocean tricks. And later on, those stomachs hurt. We'll try the snack bar for dessert. Yummy. Quick, don't miss it. The old bats are singing. The bat songs that they learned when they were first winging. Music rolls on, but no more games. As embers pop within the flames, little ones climb onto leathery lap, determined to rest, but not to nap. Then east sky purples, the sun is coming. A last few notes of banjo strumming, bring our beach night to an end, so say farewell to newfound friends. Pack our things up, shake the sand out, give the noisy gulls a handout. Quick, let's go, let's fly away. We've got to be home before it's day. 
flutter homeward, drained and weary. Small bats doze off, tired and teary. Daybirds start to chirp and peep. Now back to crack and crevice creep. We sigh and snuggle close together to dream about the moony weather. Shh, now sleep. The moon's out of reach. The night was just perfect for bats at the beach. Good night and have a good evening.